Hi everybody, Allison Cope here for Chibitronics. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a light up birthday frog card. And I'm gonna show you how to make that circuit. I'm gonna start with our card base. I have created this card to map out our circuit, including the inside. We're going to be using a variety of our LED light stickers, including our animating rainbow light sticker. We're going to start by creating our circuit by applying our battery container. This will also act as our switch. And these are really easy to use and apply to your projects. We're going to apply it just under or over top of the single balloon that's shown in full. There we go. It's just a quick peel and press. Now we're going to locate all of our LED light sticker locations. And I'm going to use our handy dandy craft stencil to do that. And I'm just tracing that small triangular shaped void in our stencil to indicate where our LED light stickers are going to be. That's going to include this, the frog's belly, a couple on the balloon, the frog's tongue, all of the little stars kind of wrapped around him and also his eyeballs, which I almost forgot about. There we go, two stickers for his eyes. There we go. All the locations are mapped out. Next, we're gonna create our actual sides of our circuit. We're gonna begin with the negative side of today's circuit. I'm gonna be indicating that with a blue pen and all you have to do is basically just connect all of the pointy sides of our triangle stickers in this case. And I'm just using the side of my craft stencil because it's just an easy tool to grab. And I'm just trying to make my lines as straight as possible. I try my best not to put the bends of the lines on the actual point of the sticker. I find that I get better application of the sticker um, not on a bend, so I'm trying to avoid that. And you can create each side of the circuit basically however you want. And there can be little side channels and everything to create those circuits. We have one more sticker to include, which is his belly, which is going to be our animating rainbow sticker. Can't wait to show you guys that and one final swoop and there we go we're going to quickly do our positive side of our circuit here we're going to take that red line in this case and connect all of the fatter parts of those sticker indicators again i'm trying not to put any of the stickers on any of the corners or the bends now this side of the circuit is going to be a little bit trickier i'm going to actually create it so that the positive side actually crosses over the negative side and we're gonna do that first right here. So see how I've dropped, jumped over that blue line? I'm gonna show you how to fix that because you don't want both sides of the sticker, or sorry, both sides of the circuit to touch one another. Otherwise, you're going to build yourself a faulty circuit and it will not work. And I'm gonna show you how I combat that. All right, we're gonna lay down the tape on the negative side of our circuit first. We're gonna use this conductive fabric tape. It is wonderfully bendable, so you can do all of those joints. You do not have to actually cut it apart into strips. I do recommend, if you can, to actually leave it as one continuous line of tape, but you do not have to. You could actually cut it into strips, and as long as you're joints are overlapping, crisscrossing one another, this will work. I just prefer to have it one long strip, so I end up kind of pulling back on it a little bit, sticking it to itself, and therefore being able to go around 90 degree corners or, or less. We're gonna take it all the way up to one spot. There we go. And we still have a few ends to take care of. We still have two pieces that need to be laid down. So we're going to do one into his tummy there 
And again, see how I've, uh, so I've, we've got three, uh, I'm just cutting. So as long as my ends overlap, the connection should work perfectly. Just make sure that you do overlap them as best you can. And there's the negative side of our circuit. Awesome. All right, let's work on the positive side. We're going to start on the inside of our battery holder. Yes, inside, because that flap is actually going to touch the top of our battery, which will make the switch turn on once it's pressed. So it's very important to start in the inside as indicated by our battery holders. We're just going to follow that red line once again, all the way around our circuit. And again, we're going to have tails. And we're just going to continue around bending it as needed. I'm just using my fingertips to kind of fold it back on itself. It's really, really easy to use. And don't forget, we also have copper tape as well. If you have copper tape, the same process um, goes with copper tape. Okay, you can substitute one or the other, whichever you have in your kit, use that. Okay, so this is how we're going to combat the crossovers of our circuit sides. So our positive crosses over the negative there. And you can see that those red lines actually go underneath that tape. Well, we don't want the positive side touching the tape on the positive side, touching the negative side. So I've created some paper bridges. It's as simple as that. All it is is a couple pieces of scrap paper. And now that provides the barrier to allow me to cross over that negative side of the circuit and complete it. So now I'm just going to take my tape and I'm going to bend it as needed and cross over those parts because now that tape has a barrier and will not touch the negative side of the circuit. So it's very easy to combat that problem. It just takes a couple of pieces of scrap paper. And there we go. And our final piece of the positive side is, is done. And there is the positive and negative sides of our circuit. Super easy. All right, let's finish it off. We're going to use the C shaped foams on the inside of our battery holder. And this is just going to help keep your three volt battery inside of that battery holder so it doesn't escape and it stays in the spot that it needs to. Let's apply all of our LED light stickers. We're going to start with that rainbow fade, which is the flower shaped sticker. We're going to apply some blue LED stickers and our stickers are very easy to use. All it is is a peel and stick. You just have to match up the points to the negative or the blue parts of the circuit and the fatter points of the sticker to the red side of the circuit. And if you look closely, each individual light sticker actually is labeled with a positive and negative symbol. So if you can't remember which goes where, just look at the sticker. It's very clearly indicated as to which side is the negative and which side is positive. And do a last couple of light stickers. We got a couple of orange and a couple of yellow to go on here. And again, just paying attention to making sure that each side crosses over the appropriate side. And last but not least, our couple of yellow indicated by our Y. Each of the regular LED light stickers are indicated by color with a letter. So W indicating white, everything up until pink, which is P. And there, all of our light stickers have been added to our circuit. Very easy. Peel and stick. Ta-da. All right, we'll add in a 3-volt circular battery into that battery holder. I'm going to throw in two and take a quick test. Now we're going to outline basically the card with some three-dimensional foam adhesive. 
This just helps with the thickness of that battery holder. And I'm just wrapping the outside of my card with this 3D foam. All right, quick press and there we go. Now I'm gonna hold that button to watch our animating rainbow fade sticker on his belly go through its cycle of colors. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed the process. Make sure to subscribe, like, and leave me a comment, and we'll see you again really soon. Bye now.